Hey friends, so we finally made it to sunny California. It is literally nine o'clock and I really wanted to show you a quick house tour because the movers come in the morning. So this is gonna be kind of like a mini house tour. So this is the front door when you first open it, it opens up into the family room. We will get back to that because I wanna start off here in the laundry room. And the laundry room is so spacious, you guys. I really, really love it. One of the things that I love about this house is the floors, but um, I'm not really sure how I wanna decorate in here, but like I said, my main objective is to show you guys that the tour. So this is the laundry room. I'm gonna go really quickly to the garage to show you. We didn't have a garage in our last place. Well, we did have a garage in our last place. We didn't have a driveway. But this is the garage. We just have like our recycle bins, trash bins over there. And then when you come over to like this little corner in the cut, it's just some extra space that we'll be able to put more things on plus some shelves. And I'm actually talking low because the boys are sleeping right now still, but now that we're done with the garage, we're going back into the laundry room. So again, in here, I plan on putting, of course, the washer and dryer. I don't know how I wanna decorate because that pole is a little bit weird to me. I'm not really sure what that's for. I guess you can use it to kind of hang clothes, but I don't know how sturdy it is. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so once you open the laundry room door, it leads straight into the kitchen. And Ryan, he was scheduling the movers for tomorrow. And this is basically it. I love the ceilings and I also love how this kitchen has a little bit more room. The bar is a little bit bigger than our bar at our last place. And the counters are definitely an upgrade. They're kind of like, I don't want to say polka dot, but they kind of have like, black and gray spots all over the counters and it goes exactly with the floor. I shouldn't have to do too much in the kitchen. I think the main thing I wanna do is the cabinets, but to the side is going to probably be our pantry. Um, it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller than the pantry we had before, but I think I can figure out what I wanna do with it. I'll probably do like some organization videos coming up, you guys. I'm so excited to kind of play around with this space and see how this works. We also have another like small closet to the side of it, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. But once you get over here to this spot, I'm gonna turn the lights on really quick, but once you get to this spot, this is kind of like, I guess the formal dining room and you guys, I just, I don't know what I want to do with it. Like, I feel like I have to play around. I do want to get some bar stools to kind of put here. I actually did order the bar, the bar stools, but I love the French doors. Um, I'll have to show you guys like the patio when, probably tomorrow. So now that we're moving on, we're moving on to the living room. And this living room is so big, you guys. I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice. But another thing I like about this house is like the recessed lights that it has. Every, all the lights are already daylight and that makes a difference because normally in our, our homes I've had to switch out the light bulbs, but they already switched to daylight. So, okay, so we're moving on to the hallway. The first closet is our coat closet, just a basic coat closet. And then next beside it is our linen closet. So we're gonna put like our towels. And again, you guys, I'm probably gonna say this a lot, but I cannot wait to organize and just get everything together. So make sure you're subscribed so you can catch up on all these type of videos if you like organization, DIYs. The next room is probably gonna be the boys' room. They were still deciding which one they wanted to pick from. They're still gonna share a room because they're still small, but this is the closet right here. It actually has three doors, so they should have a lot of space in here for their things and toys. Next, we have the second bedroom, which by now is going to be my office. The boys have picked their bedroom. You guys just saw that, but this is gonna be my office and I have not 
put anything in here yet. I still have my vanity that's actually set up. The movers put that in there, but my closet and everything is just not, it's, this is the closet. I'll show you guys the closet first. So um, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is sharing some of the closet that me and Ryan have, and then just using this one too as my main closet. Here we have another closet. I still have to decide what we're gonna do in here. Another good size. Like, let's see. Really good size in here. Um, we have the first bathroom. All right, so next we have the bathroom right here. We have the countertops. And these countertops match the floor. Um, I think the only thing I may have to do in here besides decorating is maybe do the cabinets. I might do wallpaper on the cabinets, but they don't need a lot. So this is the inside. But yeah, this is the first bathroom. And then the last bedroom is this one here. Okay, this, this would be our bedroom. And there's a walk-in closet. And then the master bathroom is right here. because we got here last night and I didn't get a chance to show you. So. So basically this is like the patio walkway. It leads to the driveway. It's so pretty you guys. And then when you turn around, this is the front door area. And so far I haven't decorated. I just put my two little lamps there and this rug that basically says bless this home so yeah um, I want to decorate for Christmas I'm not really sure how I want to do it yet I'm not sure if I want to get like some garland and just put it around here I haven't taken anything out yet so I will soon but I just wanted to show you this as part of the tour and then one of my favorite things is this this is like a Tuscan style house so I like how it has like those rigid areas for the roof. So really quick, I wanna share with you, we just got back from Walmart. I decided to get the Jewberry more. This is the six core air fryer. We, I told you guys in the last video that I really wanted to start getting the air fryer and hopefully save on like the grease with the stove. So I also decided to get a toaster. Um, if I like this toaster, I might go ahead and get the four slice one, but I wanted to start off with this one. And then also, I got some Dawn Power Wash. I grabbed a bucket and a toilet bowl cleaner because we ended up throwing away a lot of our stuff. I grabbed some paper plates. And then we also got a dinner wear set because a lot of our stuff is packed up. Um, Mari grabbed this for his room, the LED lights for him and Trey, they're gonna share a room again. So they have their LED lights. Um, we also got some shower curtains because all this stuff you normally forget when you first move in. Um, I grabbed some towels, like a towel set. And then just like the curtain rings that go with it. I'll probably change all that stuff out later, but this is just stuff for us for while we're moving in. And then we got some more Biore. We also went to Ross and grabbed a few things. I could show those to you later. And I'm trying to think what else. Oh, we also, we also got a trash can. The movers are so scheduled to come, so they'll be here soon. But I just wanted to show you guys what we're looking like so far.
so we have officially completed our packing season if you haven't watched any of those videos definitely check them out i will try and make a playlist so that it's easier for you or if you're getting ready to start pcsing or moving then you can kind of watch those videos to give you inspiration there's also tons of cleaning in those videos too if you're new here my name is crescent from the millennial suburban mom i share my journey as a mom and the realities of being a military spouse that just moved to california so if you like cleaning cooking diy organization just homemaking videos in general then definitely subscribe and join our channel we would love to have you so this video was taken throughout the week i don't want you guys to think this is all one day because there will be multiple outfit changes in this video today um, so we're going to go ahead and start off in the kitchen and in the previous clip I wanted to share with you guys how I just kind of sanitize and lightly wipe down everything. Like I said the movers haven't come yet so I'm just trying to get a few things prepared and you guys I tried this air fryer out. Right now I'm just showing you me taking it out of the package and just putting it on the counter. Like aesthetics this is definitely a one i love how they look like the white and gold is just so beautiful but i've tried the air fryer out and the toaster for the past two weeks and we love it i am a huge fan i've noticed a difference in my food and i know some people kind of roll their eyes to that but you guys normally i'm a waffle person like our family is for the most part and some days I don't even eat waffles, but with this toaster, because of how it toasts, it just makes your food so crunchy and just even regular bread. I think you can even do bagels and stuff on it as well, but it's amazing. So, so we're on to the next day and I'm starting off here in the entryway. I really wanted to have a space for this table. And I think it was in the kitchen in our last home, but I was so excited when I saw I had the space for this. So right now I'm starting to put up a little bit of my Christmas decor. Everything so far has been packed in the garage. So I don't know what box has like my Christmas stuff in it or my Christmas decorations. I don't know where any of it's at. I think I took one box out to put in the laundry room so that I had something, but I wanted to share this painting with you guys. It's a picture of like Paris in the fall or like winter. I've always loved this look and it has like a little pop of red in it. So I wanted to use like this flannel dog and also a few of like my candles and a little, I think I have like two polar bears that are like Christmas themed that I'm gonna put beside it just to kind of get in the Christmas vibe, you guys. I'm all here for Christmas. I don't think I'm gonna be doing traditional this year, but we will talk about that in another video. Right now, my main focus is to try and get at least one room clean and clutter free. So I'm gonna start off here in the living room. I had this rug down for maybe I think two or three days. And we had it in our old house for about four years and I feel like even with me vacuuming it and steam cleaning it, I just could not get it clean and it was just still dusty. So I decided to just pick this rug up. We're going to put this back in the garage and I'm going to start hunting for some new rugs, especially for this area. I think I want a rug for here where the couches are going to be and then over there where the dining room is going to be. So what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving? Are you traveling? Or are you staying in town? Are you having family over? Or are you just gonna kinda keep it small? Let me know down in the comments. I think for us this year, we're actually going to have my brother and sister-in-law over. And again, we're still unpacking, but it's gonna be like a small intimate Thanksgiving for us. But I still wanna plan the menu because I just love cooking and just having like parties and get-togethers. 
like I mentioned in another video, like I'm very shy and I'm an introvert. So for the most part, I like to hang out with people, but I also like my space. But I love gatherings. I love doing things in the house and just having socials. And I don't know, that's, it's just something I love doing. So I guess it's it has to do with like serving others. I don't know. I just I really enjoy that. So I like the baking. I like the, the cleaning and just like the preparation and seeing people's faces when they come over and just like them enjoying the food and the music. My husband definitely enjoys that. He's definitely an extrovert. Like he thrives on like, just others and I know a lot of people that are like that so anyways we are going to be doing like a intimate get together for Thanksgiving so I cannot wait to plan everything out I need to start going grocery shopping probably tomorrow and start planning my list we're not big turkey people so I'm probably going to get like a rotisserie chicken maybe two of them and because we're moving you guys like I'm not gonna do a lot I'm keeping it real I'm probably gonna get some rotisserie chicken I'm gonna bake and make a few things and then I'm going to probably order a few desserts from like maybe Costco and just kind of call it a day because I really want to spend my time like sitting down resting and just enjoying that time versus just cooking in the kitchen all day and just trying to you know being burned out and tired so that's my plan. Let me know down in the comments, like, are you a big cook for Thanksgiving? Do you like to go all out? So I wanted to show you a really quick overview of how the entry table looks so far. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this, especially once I get like all of my Christmas decor out. But for right now, this will work. I wanted to, like I said before, just have the entry table kind of based off of this painting. And I just love the little pop of color. Like I don't want to do too much. I'm very, very simplistic. Like I don't like a lot of clutter. I like to, you know, I like space in my things. So. What I decided to do was put a few blankets in those baskets. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them like this. I like the one that's outside closest to the door, but I feel like I need another basket inside, you know, along with the next one. So I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm gonna leave it like this, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it this way until I can decide what I wanna do. I might go on Pinterest and see if I see any inspiration, but yeah, I'm just so happy I have entryway right now, you guys. Okay, so the table right here, Mari, he's actually sitting and playing the game, so he's in the other chair. But I decided to turn it another direction. I really like the way this looks better. And the candle on the table, I'm trying to remember where it's from. I can't remember, but it smells so good, you guys. I actually got it from Ross, and it's like a pear, apple, and... Um, I think what is the other one? It's like a citrusy smell, but it's not too overly powerful Like it's one of those scents where it's very very mild and you can actually leave the candle burning You know for hours without getting a headache. So this is the look right now. We're kind of almost halfway there I still need to get some rugs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this side yet I really want to keep this mirror here, but I'm not sure how I want to have it look because I really want to paint it black on the outside I'm not sure if I want to do like a spray paint or actually paint because of the actual material it is an Ikea mirror so the outside of it's kind of like that funny material where I'm sure it's not gonna dry so I might go ahead and get like some black electrical tape that's matte and just put it around as the border and then just kind of play around with that and let that be the inspiration for this side so we're moving over to the kitchen you guys the kitchen is a mess but like i said we just moved so i really want to take well what i did was i took a lot of the pots and pans and put it like on the counter so that i can wash them because a lot of them were in the boxes and i just really my goal right now is to get this counter cleaned off so i'm gonna set you guys down play some music and we're just gonna try and get this counter clean. This side over here I have cleaned, so it just makes me feel so much better looking at it. One thing I do have planned for this kitchen is to change the cabinets out. That's probably gonna be in the next couple of weeks, but my goal is because we are renting, I might have to do contact paper because I don't think we can paint. 
typically be white. I know I have a lot of white going on in the kitchen, but I've always liked the white kitchen. So that's my goal. Over here, we do have a few boxes. I'm gonna turn the light on really quick to show you what we have going on. I like to tell you guys what I have going on so that you kind of know my thought process. I was just kind of sharing with you guys that I am planning on getting some bar stools for this area. I have ordered them, so they should be here in the next couple of days. And these boxes over here, I just need to break them down, put them in the garage so we can take them out to recycle. And then I have a few things on the table. Still not sure what I'm going to do with those things yet. But this area over here is just everything that still needs to be unpacked and put away. That will probably be in a different video. Like I'm not going to try and do too much more in this video because we're already doing a lot. The good thing is this box right here is like majority of like cleaning products and like kitchen stuff. So it's not really too much I have to unpack here. This one is going to go to the garage because this is like DVDs. These over here are shot glasses. We like to collect shot glasses every place we go. So when we did cross country from Virginia to Washington, every place we stopped we got shot glasses from. And then we just recently we went through Washington, Oregon, and then California. So we stopped at a few places and got some shot glasses there too. So this box and then this box is shot glasses. And then Ryan, when he was on deployment for some of his trips, he also got shot glasses from each place overseas like Greece and Japan and a few other places. So those I will probably take out tomorrow and start washing those. This box right here is our air mattress. The boys are still in their air mattress right now. We have our bed set up, but I ordered some beds and mattresses for the boys, so that should be coming soon. Uh, one of our friends gave us this table, and I love the design of it. Like, my goal is to spray paint it black, but I'm not gonna mess with this area over here because it's so intricate and beautiful. So I probably would just spray paint the top of it black and then maybe underneath um, paint that or something, I don't know. I still have to figure that out. So far I haven't touched it, that's why it's here in the kitchen. And then this back here is a mirror that goes with that table. So I can't really show you that too well because it's like really tight in the corner and this is heavy. It's like more than half my size, you guys. So it's really heavy. So I haven't decided what I want to do with those two things. I didn't want those in the garage because I knew I wanted to do DIY projects with that, but we will get to that. Um, another thing, this table right here, the chairs that were out, the, the chairs that were out there in the living room went with these, but it went with that table better. So I need to get some new chairs for this table. So again, we have tons of things that need to be done in this house, but you know, baby step. So hopefully this video is giving you tons of cleaning inspiration and motivation you guys. We are almost finished cleaning the kitchen. I just have a few more things that I need to do. I'm so happy because this was on my list of things to get done today. The living room and just the countertops in here. Every day I've been trying to pace myself because 
not only do I have to unpack, but I still have mom life. I still have to take care of the boys and cook and clean, make their dinner. It just happened today that today was Friday, so I knew I was going to probably rest and watch my shows. I cannot wait to do that, take like a shower and just relax. So definitely pace yourself if you're moving or unpacking you guys it's a process it takes time and i've just been enjoying it you guys it has been a little stressful i'm not even gonna lie but i've just been taking it one day at a time and just not rushing myself because sometimes when i watch other moms here on youtube i kind of want to just jump straight into certain things that i see them do because i enjoy it but i'm like chris you just you just move so chill out chill out so this is probably going to be the end of this video. I have so much more to share with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed if you're new. We have tons of cleaning organization. I have the bar stools I wanna share with you, the boys beds that we are getting hopefully in a few days and a few other things that we have planned, some DIYs. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.